What's up everybody? Today we are going to be talking about Speed Test Tracker. Speed Test Tracker is a self-hosted application that monitors the performance and uptime of your internet connection. The goal of this container is to run regular speed tests, not just to monitor uptime, but to make sure your server is actually getting the throughput you expect out of your network. This container has two ways to be installed. One is through the TrueNAS community catalog and the other is through dockage. First, let's look at TrueNAS. Starting with the TrueNAS install, the first thing we always want to do is go ahead and create a data set for our application. In my tank configs directory, I'm going to go ahead and add a data set call this speed test tracker. I'm going to use a generic preset of apps and then hit save. Now I'm going to jump over to the apps page, discover apps in the top right, and then search for speed test. The one I'm looking for is under productivity called speed test tracker with a little picture of the rabbit. I'm going to go ahead and hit install, scroll all the way down to the end of your app key here, scroll all the way down to the config storage and choose the host path that we just created at mount tank config speed test tracker, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit install. In the event we want to install in dockage instead of using the community app, go ahead and jump over to dockage, start a new compose stack. I named mine speed test tracker. Go ahead and jump over to the wiki page for speed test tracker. Copy this entire block here, paste it into the box over here. Leave everything the same unless you want to change your volume. If your pool is named something different than tank and go ahead and hit deploy. Now that our app is up and running, let's go ahead and jump into the HTTP web front interface. We are going to sign in on the admin panel. The default login as admin at example.com with the password of password. Here we are on the dashboard and so far there have been no speed tests so we see no information. Let's start by running our first speed test manually. In the top right, we're going to see this orange or yellowish button that says speed test with a little rocket. I'm going to go ahead and click the button and then select the nearest server, which is going to be the one that's at the top of the list and hit start. We see in the top right, our speed test has been started. And after a few seconds, my results are in. We can see my server is getting 773 megabits per second down and 658 megabits per second up with a latency of 5.06. Right now, there is no history, so they're just going to appear as single dots on the dashboard. We can scroll down and see all the other statistics that were gathered during the test. Next, let's take a look at notifications. Here we have the option to do many notifications through these sliders. Notice that some of these sliders are indicating that they will be deprecated. What's happening is Speed Test Tracker is going to include a prize in future releases. And a prize is an external container that manages notifications for people who build Docker containers. We also have the option to do thresholds here. If you enable absolute thresholds, you have the ability to cap the metric speed that's measured. I wouldn't do this if I were you, only because capping the speed is not going to give me a real test to know how fast my server is going. Let's look at some custom configuration now. You'll notice that when I was in the dashboard before and I hit speed test to run a manual test, I had to go ahead and pick the server. In the background, this is going to run every so often based on a default cron job, and it's going to pick a certain server. But we can do this manually if we choose to. Jumping over to the environment variable section of the documentation, which I'm going to link in the video description, we can see here there are a number of environment variables that control how this application works. The most important ones are going to be down here for speed test. The speed test schedule shows the cron job for how it's going to run. So if I wanted to manually insert a cron job here, I would copy this variable, jump back over to my TrueNAS page, click speed test tracker and click edit. Now I'm going to want to go to speed test tracker configuration and add an environment variable. By clicking the add button, I can go ahead and paste what I just copied and then give it a value. In this case, if I wanted to run every five minutes, it would look something like that. If you want to go ahead and create a cron task, you can go ahead and just Google how to create this. So when I Google cron task every five minutes, this is going to be the example that I just want to copy and paste directly back into my TrueNAS. Now I can go ahead and update this container and now my speed test will run every five minutes. There's one more environment variable you may want to pay attention to and it's the speed test servers. If you want to go ahead and find your servers, you can go over to speedtest.net and look for the exact number identifier of the server that you'd like to ping. This way you're pinging the same server every single time and it gives you more consistent results. To add this, go right back to the TrueNAS page, edit speed test tracker, and just simply add another environment variable besides the one we already have, pasting the name and the value here. That is the basic functionality of speed test tracker. You can go ahead and look through the environment variables to see if you want to add any additional functionality in to do more advanced speed tests for your server. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you guys want to integrate this to your stack. I'm curious to see whether or not you guys are getting the speeds that you expect to see. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Give me the big thumbs up right below this video to let YouTube know that you liked it. Leave us some comments below talking about some of the results that you're getting. If you want to have a conversation with us, please hit us up on Discord. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.